Hi, this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. Today's tutorial is uh, I created by request. Actually, I received a few emails that some of you guys want to see how um, I coloring. So that's why um, I add this tutorial. If you haven't watched the tutorial 135, please watch 135 first. And then if you like to learn how to um, the coloring, and then you can watch this tutorial. If you're not interested, um, just, um, just listen because some part is going to be very funny. So, and also I'm going to talk about um, myself a little bit. I was going to do that in last tutorial, but I was so ex uh, excited my own project, I totally forget about it. So I'm going to answer one or two questions and uh, I'm going to, in the end of the tutorial, I'm actually, uh, one of the lady want to see the creepy, like the evil Mr. London Frog. So I'm going to show you how to turn Mr. London Frog uh, become an evil frog. So let's start it. Okay, so the, I already um, pre-cut and uh, also uh, use the Versify and do the clear embossing on top. I found out with a little bit of embossing, it looks more um, um, 3D. And uh, I also um, try to color some gold color too. Um, but uh, after I found the gold color, it's also very pretty, but I just find uh, this project, 3D project, the black is show better. But you can do any color you like for the outline. So if you like to go, go for the gold color. So in the, in my pre previous tutorial, I have uh, explained why I like to die cut first and then coloring because sometimes if you when you put the you spend a lot of time to color and, and you accidentally shave a little bit of your die cut, you don't get a perfect die cut, and that was all your hard work. So uh, I prefer to die cut first and then um the coloring. So and then also in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you we're going to use a magic mushroom and if you don't have a magic mushroom i also show you how to use a makeup sponge and also the dabber will do the job the ma magic mushroom is just blending better but at this moment if you don't have it um makeup sponge makeup sponge and also the dabber will do the job uh rubber nakers color fuse same thing you can use any dye based impact they will work just fine and then we have at least to do do na vu um, three dimensional whatever we are going to I'm going to use this one to show you the evil uh, Mr. London drug okay so that's a start that I am going to use my magic mushroom first and then I just use a two very light pink uh, so one light pink is called rose and the other a little bit dark, darker pink is called fuchsia so just pick up some color rubber a little bit and just apply on top okay like this Okay, and then um, the magic mushroom is a, um, just a very fine sponge. So when you're blending it, they don't really show the mark. But if you don't have a magic mushroom at this moment, what you can do, you can use a makeup sponge. Makeup sponge you will do. That's what we use before the magic mushroom come, right? So they will do too. The only difference is sometimes maybe um, leave some mark. So that will work too. And also the dabber, they also do the job too. Okay, so this dabber, I just found out after a while, all the top is start falling apart. And uh, you can see on my table, there's uh, some kind of cutting crumb, right? You really got to have to kind of remove those uh, before you use uh, your, magic mushroom, ma uh, not ma your magic mushroom because on the ma my magic mushroom, they actually pick up a lot of those kind of paper small pieces. So I'm going to just uh, clean it, okay? They will be... Um, they, they will come off and especially when you're working on glitter um, some glitter get on top it's a little bit hard to you know get rid of a glitter you can do it but it take a, a little bit you know while to do it so always do the glitter at your plant uh, glitter at your friend's house because the glitter is not your friend do it at your friend's house okay so I did a little bit light um, pink and now I'm going to use a fuchsia fuchsia is one of my favorite flower I have a lot of fuchsia in my garden. And then we'll just add a little bit of fuchsia here and there. Okay, and then I am going to add a little bit of orange, apricot. Okay, so just here and there. 
that's the perfect because we have the matching dye to go for it, right? When you coloring, you don't really have to worry about the detail. Without the dye cut, you kind of have to be very careful. Maybe use uh, like a markers, watercolor, and stay inside the line. And now because the or um, die cut that make a uh, coloring is so easy. So that's what it look like. And then um, I am going to add a little bit green for those uh, but okay so it'll be green and uh, we can actually put a little bit green on the flower right they were green before they turn to flowers so green looks totally fine so that's how I coloring isn't that simple and easy and then you decide if you want to add a little bit more and then see like uh, my magic mushroom actually have a lot of pick up a, a lot of those uh, you know paper um, cut crumb from the die cut okay so just uh, do a little bit here and then at the least moment um, we don't have the small size of a magic mushroom so if you want to working on some small area dabber is good too we all have a dabber before the magic uh, ma ma um, magic mushroom come out right so let's do that and then I can actually give a little darker green so that's how I call it. Isn't that fast and easy? And uh, it's just like that. And for the butterfly, same thing. So my flowers is kind of more like an orange and pink, right? So my butterflies, I am going to go for uh, butterfly, five, oops, butterfly, butterfly, butterflies here. So butterfly, we um, I'm going to do more bluish color so I'm going to just go for dark color okay just push hard and then release a little bit color one will do okay just a little bit color I think that's a very pretty color already or we can add a little bit of this turquoise whisper I don't know how they come out all the names, you know, for me it's a really challenge. And then actually I just told my, I just asked my friend, his name is Sean. Sean is a guy, he is the person named all my rubber stamp, I mean my stamp, um, the title of my stamp. So I told him, can I have his permission, I'd like to do a interview. And then he said yes. So stay tuned, you're going to see Sean. Sean is the guy named all Local King Robert Stamps uh, a name. Some of the names are actually so cute. So that's how I, I coloring. And uh, um, if we want to add a little bit white with, uh, with uh, those kind of um, uh, white paint, you can do that too. And I have at least the pumpkin color. The pumpkin color is the, the color that you can just give it a touch out. But I found this time my color is a little bit darker. So you can also use the blue. Just give a little bit touch out around the cutting edge to make this okay pop out more. So that's how I color all my flowers. It's just like that. And I am I'm not sure did you watch how I created those uh, leaves. If you haven't, just make sure you watch the end of the tutorial num uh, number 135. Okay. Here is another answer for um for one of the lady. She asked me what is this um this uh, little guy here and this is actually a little sausage repre represent my finger. I'm a big girl, but I have a very small hand. I have a very short uh, fingers, and especially my pinky is very short. That's actually find out how short my pink pinky is. You can actually try to eat. You know, find how short, how what's the size? My pinky, no kidding, is only two inches. That's considered very short fingers. So she said, "I feel bad. Why people call you sausage fingers? Actually, people didn't call my sausage, call my so my finger sausage finger. Actually, I call myself so sausage finger. It's just cute, you know. So sausage finger, it's just like something, you know, cute. First of all, I like a sausage." And they are really cute. It's like it's just a name. It's like Dr. Doolittle. Why they call him Dr. Doolittle? Because he can do little, or his doo doo is little. So, but it's a very cute name. You don't want to call like Dr. Do Huge. That doesn't sounds right, right? So don't feel bad for my sausage finger. Okay. So next we are going to move to the 
Mr. London Frog. If, if you want to know how the Mr. London Frog is his name, you got to watch the other tutorial. It's so much fun. Okay, before we do that, I'm going to talk about myself a little bit. So I, um, before I start my business, I actually, I was teaching, but of course I'm not teaching English because my English sucks. So I was uh, teaching art, not really teaching at a school. I was a tutoring. I was, um, I, I, I was actually helping the um, student who want to apply the art college. If you find this boring, just fast forward. So I was helping the people who want to apply to college. I helped them to prepare their portfolio because uh, in the North America, it's different like Asia. Asia, if you're smart, you study, even you cannot pay and draw, you can go to art school. But in, in North America, they really want to see the, you know, the student who have a potential, they can create things. They don't really care about the skill. So. Um, I was helping the student to get ready, uh, get ready their portfolio to represent itself. So, and also I give a lesson to small kids and also uh, adult. I have a lot of students and they all, they all grow up now. And then um, some of them, actually one of my students, I actually made it to Harvard. And then, and a few doctors. Some of them doctor in the psychiatrist and the pharmacists, a lot of animators and the uh, teachers, business woman. When I was teaching, I always told my student, um, don't expecting that you can become rich to being an artist. Just learning um, art as a, 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 a one extra skill, like you can bike, you can swim, you can um, ski, just something extra that is good to be able to paint and draw, but never expecting um, Painting, drawing can make a lot of money. So I never, when I was teaching, I never tell my student that's wrong, that's right. You know, I always tell them, just be yourself, do the things you like to do. Because when I was a kid, um, in the beginning, I want to become marine biologist, but I didn't make it because I think I wasn't smart enough to do that, but that's okay. I just love the sea creature. And then I want to become pianist. And then, yeah, right, even with my very short sausage finger, I can only cross like six keys, keys but I love to become a pianist. So I took a lesson, but my teacher, unfortunately, she beat me so bad that I was so scared to go to piano lesson. And then I told my parents that I'd like to take an art lesson. So they sent me to some art lesson and I met one very nice teacher and she encouraged me and she always told me that I'm good, I'm special. So I started learning art when I was seven and all the way until um, college. So I do have some art background and if you'd like to know how how I start my business, um, make sure and leave a comment, let me know and I will let you know how did I start local King Robert's name. Okay, so that's working on the Mr. London Frog. So this Mr. London Frog is very cute with the eyeballs, right? Um, the, that's the tutorial number 98. I was showing you how to make a 3D eye, eyeball with uh, Nuvu. Did I pronounce right? Okay. So, but, uh, but uh, I was mentioning, you know, you can use different color to make a um, Mr. London frog become a little bit e evil. So that's why I am going to use these two colors, red and black. So, um, one thing you got to re um, be very careful is when you want to use this Nouveau is, if you storage your Nouveau like this direction, they have some airs there, right? So, and then when you flip over, you got to make sure all the fluid is falling to the bottom and ready to go. If there is some air bubbles, you want to make sure the air bubble is out. If the air bubble is not out, then when you try to squeeze, it's going to like a and the Mr. Linden Frog is going to lose eyesight. He's going to be blind. So got to make sure, you know, when you do that, and I'm going to bring the, you know, the, 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 the camera a little bit closer. So just like when you do the icing, you start from the middle and icing on the cookies. So just kind of squeeze and kind of make it a little bit bigger. And then you decide you want to have a, like a, Caucasian eyes or the oriental eyes. You can decide you want the big eyes or small eyes. So we do the red part. What do you call this part in English? Like uh, the white part is the white part of your eyes. But how about the red part? Do you call that red part of your eyes? Oh, they have a name. I have to go find what's the name. I know the, the, the black one is called the irises, right? But the, what do you call that white part of uh, our eyes? Okay, leave me a comment, let me know. So. 
and we are going to do the black so just make sure all the fluid is go to the bottom be before you start to squeeze otherwise the it's going to happen okay and then you decide which is you want to have like big iris pupils or you want to have a small one so let's just give a small one okay just two dots this is just like you create icing it's so cute so now the mr london frog have evil eyes now which one you like and i put some white one on the mushroom so i think it also looks actually the red eye it's not that evil it's actually very cute right there you go so that's how i i do the coloring and uh, that's how i do the 3d creepy eyeball and that's what it looks like okay so 20 percent promotion is going to end uh, on the november um 15 is coming soon we are not going to have any promotion until the mid june so if you want to place the order go for it and here is a an extra five percent off for our viewer is it s t u2 s t s zero five zero five fifteen okay and this code is good until may 15. so this is lisa from local king rubber stamp i have a more tutorial coming soon plus i'm going to do a preview for 2020 summer new design you don't want to miss it and the things now we are not traveling we save a lot of a travel expense and plus the show fee we are going to offer a great great deal for our new design but that's not going to happen by the end of june or um early july so i hope you like today's tutorial if you like to know a little bit more um, about me leave me a comment let me know and finally i feel i have a uh, audience and it's hard to talk to your talk to yourself and uh, if you don't believe me give it a try and then you will see it's actually not that easy and uh, i actually um let me uh some people ask me how how did i get a local king's name i know it's a very weird name i'm going to explain that one in the or future tutorial so stay tuned and uh, see you next time bye